Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Rob with Collecting Dust Hobbies. Time for another storage locker update video. Uh, we'll continue on with these shoe boxes. I uh, grabbed a couple more and uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, so this one was titled Racing Money Cards, one of two, 25 cents. So I'm not sure uh, if this is just used a couple times. But anyway, um, anyway, if you guys aren't familiar with my videos, uh, we bought a storage locker, or two storage lockers, and it's full of cho chock full of sports cards and merchandise and memorabilia, and just going through it slowly. Um, we also do breaking pack videos as well. We just open various uh, boxes of stuff. So anyway, if you like the uh, like what we do, uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you like this video, if you watch it, go ahead and hit like. If you have any comments, please comment below. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys have seen the other videos for the shoe boxes it's been pretty random as you can see this one looks like it's going to continue that trend uh, we've got top loaders we've got card savers we got penny sleeves we have raw cards so uh let's go ahead and get into it and see what we, we can find um let's start with uh i guess we'll start with the top loaders today with we'll something a little different so i said racing money cards we've got alan kawiki so a bunch of looks like max 1988 racing cards um, which at one point in time was probably kind of a big deal. Um, um, I think maybe the, uh, the popularity has gone down a little bit on some of this older stuff um, and whatnot. But we got Casey Mears, got some press pass Optimas, early press pass years. Um, so just uh, Casey Mears, Vickers, Murray, and then Adam Petty. That looks like just a some more of that stuff so yeah so definitely what it said on there high-end uh racing cards or racing money cards i think is what it said daryl wall trip so a bunch of daryl wall trips here for all the nascar fans terry labonte mark martin labonte you know all the big names here or at least for that time and into the 90s i guess you can say a lot of these guys were racing for a while so a lot a lot more of the same there so it might be a quick box, depending on what else we find. There's some baseball there. And then all of a sudden we get into 85 Leaf, Tom Seaver. Tom Seaver, the red. So it's kind of, you know, it's the same as the other ones that we found in this batch where, you know, just a lot of star cards you know, from the 80s and whatnot. So a lot of it out there, but, you know, good names. You know, get the Juan Gonzalez rated rookies, 1990 Donruss. It's Juan Gonzalez. Juan Gonzalez. I mean, he was hot for a while. There you got some sample cards. Score select. Juan Gonzalez. More Juan Gonzalez news with the Tigers. And Frank Thomas. EX card. So pretty cool. Let's move forward here. Let's see what else is in this little pile here. Another cool wiki. Some more racing. Some more Boggs. We found a bunch of Boggs in the other box. Reggie Jackson. Kind of the 81. Mr. Baseball. Mr. October. 82 Tops Opeachy. 300. And it's because it says here traded to Angels. 1982. Reggie Jackson. I don't know what the heck that is. I mean, that's a problem when you find stuff. Sometimes you just never know what's going to find in there with it so a bunch of reggie jackson some more peaches uh, we found some of the stuff in the last box looks like 80 or 80 tops dale murphy a little rough the other ones were actually mint or near mint i should say doug flutie so again just random doug flutie card in there ken caminetti tony gwynn leaf trevor hoffman retro And 87 Leaf Gwyn. All right. Clemens. 86 Donruss. Looks like the uh, Juan Gonzalez rookie there. Bunch of those. Very common card, though. Not too hard to find. McGuire. Gonna get into the McGuire stuff. Craig Council. The Rockies. Bowman's and we got Luis Gonzalez Ultra Fleer 
Los Gonzales, most people remember, the Arizona. And back to the Max 1988 racing cards. So let's take a look real quick. Max Racing. It's got been racing for a while. Let's go look at the cut of the winnings here. How much he won. A good year in 87. Won over a half million dollars. Bobby Allison. Schrader. Got Childress. Benny Parsons. And it looks like this is some more Max Racing. Here's another Max. I'm going to go Jeff Gordon 1994 sample card. Wow, look how young he is in that picture. It's a sample. It's Jeff Gordon. This might be a, a nice little gem here, depending on how many of these were made. Okay, one of 30,000, so. Not, not as rare, but uh, sample card. Dale Jarrett. Kind of a sports flicks Jarrett there, yay. Kind of cool. And the Winston Cup. How much the race? All right. Some Dale Earnhardt's. This is tracks. What year is this? This is a uh, ninety. You know, it's one ninety. Uh, yeah, probably like nineteen ninety. I'm assuming nineteen ninety one, maybe. Because they have a nineteen ninety here. Okay, ninety one. There we go. Ninety one tracks. Dale Earnhardt, senior. Some more Max stuff. More Max. Winston Cup and another raceway. Cool. Assuming this is going to be more. So there's more Max Racing. And let's see here what else we have here. More racing there. All right, this looks newer. What is this? Press Pass 2002, Burning Rubber with, uh, oh, is this a checklist? It's like Dale Earnhardt Jr. there. Uh, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. Stealth. It's kind of a die cut card. I don't know if you guys can see that. 2001, kind of cool. Something different. More die cuts here. Some more Dale Earnhardt Jr. Just kind of a cup card is Eclipse 2002 Pepsi 400. So I guess he won that one. And then we go straight from that into a 1984 Topps Dan Fouts. Actually, not bad. A little soft in the corner there, but yeah, definitely soften that one down there, but not a big deal. Craig Council. Some more Craig Council. So this is the, uh, the, I guess, the um, World Series team. Let's see here. Tony Gwynn. So these look like just a bunch of Gwynns here. Yeah, these are all Gwynns. The Tony Gwynn Midsummer Classic Moments, Upper Deck. So we get a lot of those. And then we got some newer stuff here. So we've got uh, Extra Editions, Matt Price, and uh, Sean Green later in his career. And then we got uh, Hank Conger, Addison Reed, Wade Mice, the Power Players one. So these look like, okay, so these look like just Arizona cards. There's a various, various ones. Didi Gregorius, 2015, that's right. Gail Montero, Trevor Cahill, Aaron Hill, Reed. So yeah, it looks like just a bunch of Arizona cards. Peralta. And yeah, Connor Jackson. 
Tops Pristine. El Nino. Gregorius. Cody Reed. Chris Owings. Matt Bailey. Here's a Tops Finest Goldschmidt. Early on in his career. Uh, this is a Topps um, tribute. Yeah. Goldschmidt. Got a Saunders. Is this a special one? No, it's just the A and G back. And Aaron Hill. So if you guys aren't familiar with the um, Martin Prado, if you're not familiar with the, um, this is 2011 Alan Ginter, but on the minis they have various versions. You have just the normal one. Um, and then they have the one that's called the Allen and Ginter back, which would this this one would be for this this year, where they actually have the picture of it. Um, they also have um, a regular what's called a no number, where there'll be no you can't see here because this price tag is in the way. But the, the the number of the cards up here, um, there's some that are printed without a number, and those are supposedly numbered to fifty. Um, and then as well as that, you'll have a either a bazooka or a flag card or something like that that's usually numbered to twenty five. And it's usually handwritten on the back, the numbering, like one of 25 or whatnot. And this year, I think it was Bazooka, 2011. And I think it was handwritten in like just a ballpoint pen kind of thing. Um, and on top of that, then on the front, you've got just a normal version here. And you have a black bordered version. So it's kind of a cool card. It's, you know, a throwback to the old tobacco card days. Um, I really like them. They have, you know, like I said, with the, with the, the variants and whatnot. And I think the Gypsy Queen product also has... Has that as well with the um, the variations and the minis and whatnot. So anyway, let's go ahead and continue going to the front here. We've got a uh, Marshall Falk. Looks like a uh, Omar Moreno for the Pirates. The Buckos, as some people call them. And um, yeah, I think yeah, this is '79. I think this was like a Hostess or something, or it came off the it came off like a Hostess cupcake box or, or something like that. If I remember correctly. Tony Gwynn, Legacy, it's more Tony Gwynn, so 84, D Dale Murphy, but just really rough, little Steve Young in there in the middle, some Wade Boggs cards, Ryan Sandberg, Gwynn, Ruben Sierra from the Rookies uh, set, Cal Ripken 87s, 82, Ken Griffey Sr., and the back is Ultra Pro New York's Finest. It's like Bobby Bonilla and Danny Tartable. So if you guys can see that, it's kind of a hard... There we go. So that's when the uh, in the early 90s when you know getting a hologram was a big deal. It was kind of like the chase card that you'd get. So we got Steve Young. Some more... So some Steve Youngs. Be nice to see some Brady's. I don't know if you guys saw the last video, I think it was either one of the last two, we, we did come across a small group of Brady's. William Floyd, Steve Young. You know, really rough here. So that, my friends, is not considered mint. So, Ovation. That's a nice EX card. So, just, you know, again, randomness. Some more Puckets. Tons of these we found so far. You're probably about you know, 50 to 100, maybe. Tony Gwynn. More Wade Boggs. Some Nolan Ryans. Is that normal? Yeah, it's a normal 89 Tops Nolan Ryan card. Some more Kirby Puckets. Roger Clemens, 86 Donruss. Manly, 86 Donruss. Like these are like in every box. Here's New York's Finest again. Maddenly, more of this Legacy. Galraga, real rookie. And you think about like that, uh, like was it the uh, early 90s Expos team of, of who they had on that team? It's like actually just amazing, you know, that they were able to just stick there and kind of, you know, and stay in Montreal and whatnot. They probably to, I mean, you had Vlad Guerrero, Larry Walker, Randy Johnson, Galarraga was still there. I mean, it was just a, I think, or maybe he was in the uh, Rockies, but I don't remember. But still, just, just uh amazing farm system of talent that came up through, you know, through the Delano de Shields, you know, all those guys that came up through that system. 
All right, here's the Fleer Superstar Special, Pete Rose. This is after he broke the uh, the hits record. Um, and tops did the A6 tops did a uh, commemorative, you know, I think it was 10 card or 6 card set for him. So it was kind of a big deal. Ryan Sandberg. So kind of, you know, the usual what we've been seeing. I mean, you know, good players, you know, the years, you know, okay. You know, 86s and stuff. Yeah, so there's the 86 Donruss tribute right there. Some more Steve Young. This is uh, Steve Young and uh, McCorders. I'm trying to remember his name, cornerback. But so Steve Young. This one's uh, Curtis Martin. Curtis Martin Pro View. <laughs> Rolling in the house. All right. And um, Mike Schmidt, you know, Emmett Smith, you got Terrell Davis, Terrell Davis, you got Curtis Martin, Hall of Famer. All right. And we got Emmett Smith. So, yes, my Emmett Smith, Terrell Davis. TV. Got some more Curtis Martin here. Little Curtis Martin. Curtis Martin. Drew Bledsoe. Curtis Martin. Some more die cuts. More Curtis Martin. And there's a nice 92 Fleer Barry Bonds. Card number 550. I mean, home run side. At this point in time, he had 142 home runs. So he had a high season of 24, 19, 33, 25. Batted pretty well, though. 301, well, maybe not. 301, 292. Last couple of years. So he was seeing the ball better, I guess. De Deion Sanders football version. This is the uh, Pop Warner edition. I don't know how many. I've seen a bunch of these. I don't know how many there are. I know there's silver and gold and bronze. And whatnot. So I got Don Manley. I was able to pull some of the rices. Uh, there was a gold rice I pulled out of there. Ryan, Ruben Sierra, and then there we go. 1974 tops. Lee Lacy. So with the Dodgers then, and then he went to the Pirates later. And I believe was he on? I think he might have been on the championship team in '79 for the Pirates. I'm not sure when he went over there, but Pete Rose. Sammy Sosa, Ruben Sierra. Some more Ruben Sierra. Yeah, in 1887, this was a hot card. I mean, you know, you see two bucks here. I mean, you can probably pick these up for, you know, a quarter piece or whatever now, but eight or less, you know, just because there's so much of it out there. But, yeah, Ruben Sierra was a big deal when it came out. And that was a big card to have for that set. Got the 83 uh, Nolan Ryan. Diamond Kings Pete Rose, 82. Yeah. Pucket, some more Ryan, Here's some Consecos, 87. Part of the Bash Brothers. All right, then it looks like we got some new stuff. It's kind of interesting. It's just weird. And then all of a sudden, you know, Prism, you know, which is like, what, 2015 or so? Charles Tapper, Kevin Dodds, kind of different uh, Prism refractor there. Charles Tapper, different Jalon Smith. And yeah, gold, Darius Jackson, Marquise Lee, that is top chrome, and then TJ Sharp looks like it's just like a refractor. So let's see if any of these are, yeah, so this one's the gold, numbered to 299. Uh, nothing. This one's numbered to 149. Right there, number 149. This is that. I'm not sure what the uh, prism's called, shimmer, shimmer prism, or so. Let's see here. I think it's. No, they're all up there. Is so they're all prism. Yeah. So this one, these ones don't have numbers. So. Yeah, prism's an interesting set. I mean, they have a soccer one, a football one. It's just you know just the different you know, types of prism refractors they have. So here we got Mark McGuire. Looks pretty young. This is a 
classic baseball superstars series, Mark McGuire. So I have no idea what year these came out. I'm assuming late 80s, early 90s maybe. Um, they kind of have that, that mother's cookies kind of look to them. Um, they're really good shape, mint cards. So I'm not sure if they're worth anything because there's, like again, there's so many offshoot stuff that was produced back in those days. It's Glenn Davis. Kirby Puckett. Dave Parker. Reds. So if, any guys, if anybody knows about this series, I mean, you know, please comment below. Classic Baseball Superstars Series 1. Dave Parker. Like I said, they've got kind of a mother's cookies. You know, Pete Incavilia. This guy uh, struck out a lot, but when he hit, when he got a hold of one. <laughs> yeah, Will Clark. Cal Ripken. Wade Boggs. Dale Murphy. Looks like a younger picture. Eric Davis. Don Mattingly. There you go, Bo Jackson. Sometimes these offshoot Bo Jacksons do well. There's a lot of Bo Jackson collectors out there. I mean, if he if he wasn't hurt, in my in my opinion, probably one of the greatest athletes to play both those sports. Um, just just amazing, amazing power, talent, speed. Dwight uh, Daryl Strawberry, yeah. And this is um, <clears throat> what was his name? Cal Daniels. Cal Daniels. That was his name. Another Eric Davis. So they have different variations for pictures, so I'm not sure, you know. So, oh, this is Series 2, so maybe that's the variation. Wally Joyner. Saber Hagen. Reggie Jackson. Pete Rose. Another Bo Jackson. So, Conseco. Rob Deere. Rob Deere. Yeah. Daryl Strawberry. Oh man, what's his name? Uh, is that Megadon? Yeah, Dave Megadon. George Brett, Wade Boggs, Jack Clark. There's Doc Gooden. So yeah, interesting. So I mean, they're really good shape. They're you know pretty mint. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, I haven't seen them before. So, but again, there's so many offshoot stuff that came out in those late you know late 80s, early 90s. So. We go back to Pro Line. We got the uh, Emmett Smith. It's a subset card. Cover Glory on record pace. Ken Griffey Jr. becomes the youngest ever to reach 350 home runs. So it's just some kind of uh, upper deck card. You got a Chipper Jones uh, Topps Laser. Some of these are worth some money depending on who it is. Um, you have a nice Chipper Jones Laser. They kind of like laser cut it. So, kind of cool. Got a Moose Haas. Lou Pinella. Fernando. Some 84 tops here. Ricky Henderson. Mike Schmidt. Ricky Henderson. So, you know, just some nice 84s. A little print defect there. And we got some top loaders down here. Oh, here we go. Drew Bledsoe. That was Brady for a second, but... Some more Emmett Smiths, a bunch of Emmett Smith Pro Lines, a bunch of Emmett Smiths. You know, Emmett Smith, I mean, you know, during his playing days, I mean, those were the, those cars were, were hot. I mean, they were, they were sound like hotcakes, so. All right, so we got uh, Nolan Ryan, 87 Tops. Got some 91 Donruss here, Nolan Ryan. This looks like a bunch of Nolan Ryans. Career Salute Donruss, 27 years. Some more Ryans. It's like just like a bunch of Nolan Ryan stuff, which is always good. A lot of Nolan Ryan collectors out there. Doc Gooden. So here's another off-brand looking car. This is Action Superstars. Oh, here's the Reigns. I do have this one. So 87 Action Superstars. George Brett, Ozzy Smith, Ryan Campanella. These are just all upper deck issue type cards Ted Williams looks like he's pitching Pete Rose Johnny Bench Pete Rose Pete Rose yeah this is just a bunch of Pete Roses they look like they're in good shape 
Decent. 87 tops. This is Pete Rose. Here's another one of those action superstars. This one's baseball's best. That's 88. There's another Bledsoe. All right. And we got uh, Clemens. Some more racing. Looks like a... Uh, a reprint, yeah, Anthony Rizzo, 64 tops heritage reprint. Just randomly in there. Pete Rose, some damn Marinos, Steve Young, Henderson. Okay, we got some hockey, we got some Eric Lindros. And this guy was hot when he came out. Cheap seat treats, Tony Clark. This is kind of cool. Looks like a, a seat. I'm assuming it opens up. Nope, it doesn't. I guess I guess if you have to you have to pull it and it hasn't been pulled. So it's a Tony Clark like a seat, cheap seat treats, kind of banged up up here. And we've got the uh, Dennis Leonard um, Hostess, Ferguson Jenkins, Ken Griffey Jr. Ultra Flare, Ken Griffey. All right, got some more Griffies. Always good to find Griffies. All right. And we got some Greg Maddox. So this one was tagged Maddox. So maybe this was the Maddox section. Dan Fouts. Dan Fouts. Dan Fouts. More Clemens. Tons of Clemens. I mean, for the 86 Donners Clemens, I mean, you'd like to puck it. I think we've probably found a good 100 or so easy in the last few boxes. So, all right. These look like a Nolan Ryan. Uh, yeah, that's right. Coca-Cola set. So it's like a Nolan Ryan. I need two Donners, Coca-Cola. Don't remember where if the, if the, if these came with Coke or you get to send away for. I think it came with like one, like a case of Coke or something like that, and then you could send away for the set or something like that. But lots of it out there um, has a little value, not not really much, but you know for maybe a Ryan collector, but just one of those off offshoot things. It's more Robin Yount. So again, we found some of the Robin Yount and the other stuff too. So it's just interesting how it's kind of all over the place and not in just like, you know, one had Rob, Robin Yount and one Ryan's. This is kind of a little bit in everything. So really interesting the way it's just kind of broken up. Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. Just a ton of Nolan Ryan stuff. Let me get some more Mike Schmidt. It's a nice Topps Collector Superstar Mike Schmidt, 1986. This came out of one of those uh, little subset, those little 30 card things, I believe. Let's see, was that numbered 30? So I'm not sure, but some Leaf. Phillies, Mike Schmidt. Mike Schmidt. Some more goodies there from the storage unit. And uh, what not, so all right, almost done. Let's take a look. These are Holyfield Decisions Battle of the Ages. This is a uh, this is a KO the boxing uh, product that came out, but these are look like the um, the gold foils. Uh, you got Sugar Ray Leonard. Hard to see these, I think. There you go, Sugar Ray. Hollyfield again. This is all like Hollyfield Foreman. Hollyfield, yeah, those are just all Hollyfield Foreman. So I'm not sure if there was a common one or not. I've come across tons of this stuff before, but just like the regular cards, not not these. So it looks like there might have been maybe a couple. Ray Mercer, then we got some more Younts. And let's go ahead and finish this up before the video gets too long. Let's try to do it under 30. Got carried away. Here's some more boxing stuff here. We've got the uh, some more of the uh, Ollie bonus cards. This is for the uh, All World Boxing. Some Marcus Allen's, Bo Jackson's, Yogi Berra, Maris, Addison Russell, Chapman. Some LeBron James. So the only one. No, small little LeBron James. Nice. Hold those aside. Arietta, Amari Coopers. So some more Amari Coopers. And last pile, I got some David, bunch of David Robinsons. So basketball. 
I'm taking Seiko, Carter, Henderson, Frank Thomas, Manley, the usual suspects, Nolan Ryan, Manley, some Ripkins, 87 tops, and at the very bottom we've got some Trevor Hoffmans, it looks like. Tony Gwynn, so just maybe some Padres. Cal Ripken, Buner Griffey, and we'll end it with a Cam Griffey Jr. car from Upper Decks Collector's Choice. So anyway, thanks again for watching. Uh, as always, follow your passions, do what you love, and have a great day. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.